it's not over till the fat lady sings. Sharon Hornell's from here. This is a doll from Mexico I got for my daughter when she was young. And it's the closest thing I have to a fat lady singing as I just made an avalanche of all the things in my office. Okay, that's fun. Anyway, our idiom, our expression today, our proverb is, it's not over until the fat lady sings. What the heck does that mean? It means that a situation, usually a sporting event, since it's attributed mostly to sporting events, isn't finished until the absolute final bell, till the final minute, the final second of the game. It happens in basketball, it happens in football, it happens in baseball, it happens in hockey and all the other sports that people watch and enjoy. I forgot soccer and lacrosse and all the other ones that are that come to mind. But it means that the game isn't over until it's actually over, till it's really done. Now, people think that this came from operas, and for some reason people think that there's fat opera singers, but there totally aren't. It's actually true that more opera singers are thin than they are heavy, but for some reason, uh, Dick Mata is actually attributed with saying this in the 1977-78 playoffs between the Washington, I think they were the... Um, Oh, San Antonio Spurs and the Washington Bullets, they were called. I think they've changed their name now, but they were the Bullets back then, Washington. And the coach of Washington, it was, you know, they were getting beaten. And he said, you know, it's not over till the fat lady sings. And it was reported by Dan Cook in uh, the newspaper and in the media in that playoff series. And so there was a little confusion about that. But in most of the sources, it's attributed to Dick Mata. Anyway, you look at it, it was still in the 1970s, so it's a relatively new expression that you may or may not have ever heard before. I know I've heard it and used it in business when we were trying to get a project done on time or we were, were submitting a bid and it had to be in, in a certain amount of time or when we had submitted a bid for a project or a proposal and we hadn't heard back yet because it was you know, a closed bidding situation. And so we, you know, didn't know, even though the deadline had come and everyone had turned in their bids, they hadn't really announced the winners yet. So that was a situation we might say, hey, it's not over yet. We worked really hard. We should be proud of what we've done. And it's not over till the fat lady sings. It's not over until we get that final notice of how it's going to turn out. So how might you use this in your business in your life? How might you use this as you're growing your business? Well, it's a reminder to us that the only way we lose, the only way we end, the only way we get trounced in business is if we decide to throw in the towel and quit. Nothing's over unless we decide it's over. We can always change course. We can always change our strategy. We can always find different customers, do different things, uh, create different products and services to solve problems for people. And our business is not over and done unless we decide that we're going to not continue to look for solutions for ourselves and for the people that we're here to serve. So I'd love to know your experience with this particular idiom or expression. It's not over till the fat lady sings. I think Yogi Berra also said it and Aretha Franklin may have sung it in a song. So we've heard it a lot since the, uh, the 1970s for sure. So it's been around the majority of my life and probably everybody who's listening to this. But curious what your experience has been with it. That's our idiom. That's our proverb for today. Sharon Hornell's from here. I will be with you tomorrow with another interesting idiom. What does it mean? Where does it come from? And how might you use it in your business and your life? Take care.